This is a Chucky Beat production. All right, y'all. I had to re-record this one too. My camera just shut off on me. <laughs> um, and I thought I was waxing deep too, right? This is mad annoying. Um, anyway, um, I was just, I'll, I'll get to the point quickly. But I, I was talking about the fact that it seems that I've never really had a black male boss or supervisor or manager. Um, I was thinking about my employment now and right now my boss is, I have two black women who are above me and a white woman who is uh, oversees everything. Um, which is interesting because this is a, an organization that predominantly works in a almost all black community. Um, and the population that we serve that specifically enter into our program is almost all black, all right? Um, this is also the, 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 the organization I worked for previously. Similarly, predominantly black individuals who we serve, um, but management was, management was maybe, how what? Management was maybe half, I want to say half to potentially uh, maybe two thirds white. All right. Um, and I just found that that was interesting. Um, my direct boss was a white uh, woman and we were cool. I'm not talking about the quality of leadership amongst these individuals. They, they were great individuals to me. They treated me fairly. Um, but I just found that it was interesting that I've never really had a black male boss. Um, even when I think about other positions that I've had, you know, it's been all white men and I've had great relationship with, relationships with them also, but never a black male boss. And I was just thinking like, what, what could be part of that phenomenon? Like what could cause that? And just some of the things that come to mind, I think just, it's just a lot of systemic, um, uh, 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 challenges that we have um, and I think there are things that, that we go through um, at, in general that other people groups don't go through um, and, and this is not to say that of course because I mentioned some women and we certainly know that women have had their challenges also uh, but I think that there's a certain aggression systemically against black men and I'm not even saying a conscious Aggression, right? I think a lot of it is just the reason why I use the word systemic is I think it's it's not even something that people think about. I think it's a system has been set up that kind of automatically causes um, certain things to go in a particular kind of way, and so it becomes hard to fight against because the system is just designed that way. Um, and one of the things that I realize is that uh, right now, black men. They aren't, they, so for instance, black women get educated and go through education right now at higher rates than black men. Um, black men are dropping out of high school, they're dropping out of college um, for whatever reason. And so black women have, um, it, it's actually, I remember seeing a study that said that black women actually achieve the highest academically, um, especially at a collegiate level right now than any other uh, population. Um, I, that could be wrong, but I remember seeing something where at least they're like challenging for the top of the top, all right? Um, um, also, I think black men are just incarcerated so at a much higher rate, so there's less of a population to choose from when we talk about uh, being in upper level management of organizations. Um, and then I also think that because of the challenges that black men have had, they, find, they get disinterested much earlier in... Uh, contributing to society in a, in traditional uh, by, through traditional means, and so because of that, they don't we don't have the same types of aspirations. Now, some of us do because we've just been exposed to more. But there might be a large population who they don't want to work for your organization, or they don't um, see it as valuable to to be a manager somewhere because they don't see how. Um, when they look out into the world, they don't see how the people who own these institutions or, or, or they don't see how the government and, and, and other people have done things for their good. And so why should they participate in something that they feel is only going to make the rich richer 
and continue making their own communities worse, right? And so I just thought that it was an interesting phenomenon that that me, of all people who have had a diverse amount of experiences and what have you, but never experienced really having a black male boss. Um, that's interesting, and I hope that one day I can maybe change that trend for other people. I have been a supervisor at one point, um, you know, but I think that there's more in me um, to do. Um, I think that for the rest of you individuals out there, especially black males who have the opportunity to be bosses, to be supervisors, you know, the Dame Dash talked about it a lot, but I think that uh, we do have to figure out how can we become bosses so that we can, um, you know, change the mentality and change what the view is of what a boss looks like out there so that black males can also be seen as people who um, can be bosses and managers and supervisors for um, for um, valuable and beneficial institutions as well. So um, I just wanted to point out that interesting fact. That's enough. Um, again, average is failure. Let's tap into that dynamite power. Peace.